is something that I was in love with. I could not live without it. It was so helpful, especially in the newborn days where I would constantly be breastfeeding and once I finished, I didn't just want to put the baby on the flat on the bed, so I put him on top of this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Raising Rosas. I make motherhood and lifestyle videos. I'm the mother of a seven month old boy. In today's video, we're going to be going over baby product must-haves. Building a baby registry could be so overwhelming, especially when you're a first-time mom. And I know it was for me. There are so many good products out there and so many things to choose from. And I had no idea where to start. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the must-haves. You do need more products than this. These are not the only things you need. But this is definitely a start. The first product we have on the list today is going to be a baby stroller slash car seat. This stroller is very sturdy. I find it to be also very safe. I made sure to find something with good reviews. It's the Kiko Keyfit 30. What I like about the Kiko Keyfit is that it's affordable. It's not super expensive. The two parts together, the car seat and the stroller part, I think they must have come out to about 300 something and that's actually pretty cheap when you compare the other strollers out there and go into the thousands. The next item on the list is going to be a baby bathtub. Now when I first started looking for baby bathtubs, I got different types of tubs. You can find tubs like this, like this, and like that. But what worked for us was a tub that you get to put inside your actual bathtub at home. So what we ended up buying is this product, it's a Fisher Price product. We ended up buying this product because one, I didn't really want to bathe my baby in the sink and two, I didn't want to have to later on just fill my tub and put him in the tub constantly. And I think this is a perfect product for what we were looking for. There's different types that you can look for anything you want, but this definitely works and it can go with the baby for a pretty long time. The next item is something that I really didn't know I needed in the beginning. I didn't know how important it was. It's a butt paste. We first registered for the Aquaphor butt paste because it has so many good reviews. We tried it out a few times and it really didn't help with my baby's rashes. What we ended up using is the Boudreaux butt paste. I cannot live without this butt paste now. I didn't know how much I needed this. This butt paste is without chemicals and it just works wonders. When my baby first started getting diaper rashes, I really thought we were going to have to struggle with it for such a long time. But now every time he goes to sleep, we put the Boudreaux butt paste on and that thing works like this. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Next up, we have the Swaddle Me. Swaddles, again, are something that I really struggled with. I tried different types of swaddle. I tried the Halo Sleep Sack. I tried the Muslim Blankets. I even tried Love to Dream Swaddle for a little bit. But none of them worked, as at least when he was a newborn. What worked for us was a Swaddle Me. And I know a lot of people don't like the Velcro because it makes a lot of sound, but the Velcro never bothered my baby and it really worked. It keeps them snug, it's very hard to break out of it. Yes, later on when they get a little bit older, they're gonna start to break out of it. But as a newborn, it worked for us. Up next, we have verb clots. Lots and lots of verb clots. This is something that someone had mentioned to me before I had my son and I really didn't believe them. I guess I didn't think that I needed that many. I just said, well, you know, whatever, I can wash them, it's not a big deal. But yes, you have to wash them constantly, but it's good to have a large number of these. So I had registered for so many different types of burp cloths. They're all mostly cotton material, but they're different thickness, and I realized some work better than others. One of the thickest and most absorbent ones for us were the Kitty Star. This actually, um, I bought it on Amazon, it came in a package with about four or five burp cloths. I wanted to buy another package of these, but we never ended up doing that. These are really absorbent. They're really big, really thick. They catch the spit up so well, especially when you have a baby that spits up a lot, like my son. Other than the Kitty Star Burp Cloths, we also had other different types of burp cloths. We have this one. I don't remember the brand right now, but technically anything that covers this much of your body is going to work really well. Not only the front, but also the back part. We have ones like this. Um, they're just cotton. You can do different things with them. This is a washcloth, but we ended up using it as a burp cloth as well. These the Gerber baby ones are actually cloth diapers that we ended up using as burp cloths. They're not as absorbent as the other ones, but they work really well and they're pretty cheap. 
Next up, we have the baby playmat. We ended up buying the baby Einstein playmat. There are so many different kinds of playmat you can find online and in stores. It really isn't important which one you buy. Just focus on getting a playmat. Babies use these playmats for such a long time, especially if you buy a bigger one from the beginning. They can use these as long as five, six months. Right now at seven months, he's not that interested in the dangly things anymore but it's definitely a newborn must-have. There are two products you actually need when you're taking your baby home from the hospital. One of them, of course, is the car seat, and the second one is bassinet slash crib. Now, it really depends on you if you want to get a bassinet or if you want to do a crib immediately. I spoke in my previous video about baby regrets that I regretted the Halo bassinet. After I returned the Halo, I ended up buying a Kiko bassinet. It has the mesh sides as well. I found it really important and it also has a pretty nice thick mattress. Still hard, not that soft whatsoever because babies need to sleep on a firm mattress. But it was much more comfortable than the Halo. This bassinet was not that expensive at all. It's pretty affordable and I used it for four or five months. I know most people go until four months, I think. We used it a little bit longer than that because I just wasn't ready to transfer my baby to the crib yet. So just remember, bassinet or crib, it really is up to you. But if you wanna keep the baby really close to your bed, especially those first few weeks where you're not gonna really wanna walk up and down the room or into the nursery or anything like that, bassinet would be pretty important. The next product I cannot live without. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have one of these. It's the sound machine. Any sound machine actually, not specifically this one. This is a pretty cheap sound machine we found on Amazon. There are much more expensive ones and much better ones. This doesn't have that many options, but it works for us. Why do I think a sound machine is that important? It depends on your living situation. For us, we live in an apartment, it's not that big. I feel like the baby's sleeping very close to a lot of sounds that we're making in the house, and it really gives me a peace of mind to know that I can walk around the house, talk, cook something in the kitchen, not constantly have to be afraid that my baby's gonna wake up. So the sound machine just makes this white noise and it blocks out all the annoying noises coming out of the house. You really don't need to spend that much on a sound machine. You can always buy something like the Hatch. It's more expensive and I'm sure it has more options, but something that I have like this also works very well. All right, the next product we have is something that I thought was so gross when I saw it, but it's actually not that gross at all. It's the nose frida nasal aspirator you put one end of it in your mouth the other end in the baby's nose and you suck the boogers out it has a filter so it will catch the boogers it's not going to come into your mouth this is really important when your baby has a cold when your baby just has a really stuffed up nose especially when it's really dry this always worked at sucking the boogers out for me so this last product I have is something that I was in love with. I could not live without it. It was so helpful, especially in the newborn days where I would constantly be breastfeeding. And once I finished, I didn't just want to put the baby on the flat on the bed. So I put him on top of this. And I know there are different kinds of products that you can use for this. So what we used was this, the Boppy lounger. You put the baby on top of this and his head goes right here. This works really well for babies up to, I would say four or five months. We still put my baby on top of this. Not that he needs it or anything like that, but sometimes watching TV on the couch and he's being fussy, he wants to be close to us. We kind of put him there and he'll play for a little bit. Lastly, we have some honorable mentions. And the first honorable mention I have here is a blackout curtain. Blackout curtains help block the light from your room so the baby can have a better sleep. I know some babies can sleep in bright lighting, but my baby gets overstimulated really quickly, so he needed full black room to be able to sleep. The next item is not something you necessarily need, but it can make your life easier. It's a changing pad liner. You actually put this on top of your baby's changing pad, so instead of him pooping and peeing and making the changing pad dirty, he's gonna make this dirty and you just throw this in the wash. It comes in a package of like four or five. Just Google or look on Amazon for changing pad liners. This one is made out of cotton. They have different types of materials, but this worked for us really well. Something else I realized that were really important to keep the baby entertained, other than for example the play mat, were baby books. Not just black and white baby books, but colorful baby books as well. The black and white ones work really well when they're newborn, but after about the first initial month, maybe six weeks, seven weeks even, 
we realized that he also loved, loved to look at this book. So books like this are always going to be helpful when you want to entertain your baby or you can make them part of your bedtime routine. Those are my baby must-haves. So hopefully this makes it easier for you to make a decision on what products to get and narrow down your baby registry a little bit more. There are so many items you need for the first year of your baby's life, but for those first three months, you really don't need to go overboard and your baby's not going to really need that many things. If you have any other items you recommend, you can comment down below. And don't forget to click like and subscribe so I can keep making more videos like this.